unfortunately, I didn't get um, uh, study on making speeches. But um, with the inaugural um, CRC, I do take a lot of credit where James Rose put his lifetime into this, and that's a huge job. Um, Ian Sinclair, I think your um, institution to me because uh, you taught me how to be a chairman and um, I learned a lot from you. Thank you very much. Um, look, we're at the crossroads. This has been a great thing of coming up, doing a lot of blue sky stuff and these things take a long time to come through. But usually the, the long plotting um, operations and skills comes out of these and sometimes in five years time there's probably going to be a great success of a splinter of what comes through this and often a lot of the successes we've had as a company is through a failure where something was slow or not moving quickly and then all of a sudden it'll click and I think all the work that's been done with the sheep CRC don't put it in the back of the book always leave it there and I think there's going to be some great things come out of it. We, um, we do have a responsibility as Australians, and especially in this research stuff. We're the biggest wool grower in the world. We're the biggest sheep meat exporter in the world. And um, the world's our oyster. Um, I do think um, a lot of this research stuff, we should not be worried about giving it to other countries. Um, and we export into most of the countries that's um, that eats sheep meat. We've got to get the tariffs down and um, I think we just shouldn't hold those under one thing. It's, um, as James said, I think in my life, we've spent my life um, in the sheep industry um, and I won't go on with it. We, need, we are now um, a major part of um, agricultural exports. We're probably one, two or three in Australia in wool and sheep meat, we should be one industry. Sheep industry should be all under one roof and um, would give a lot better bang for the buck for Australians. Um, I look at the CRC was just one link in the chain. It's a phenomenal thing and it's probably the most difficult link because the challenges that come out of it and things that people think it won't be a success but when I look back in my time, um, we got sheep today. Our lambs were averaging probably 17 kilos now. And we think if a lamb doesn't weigh 25 or 6 kilos now, it's um, not worth operating. So th there has been a huge amount of work done on the breeding. And I think it's probably the success story. Um, when we first started the CRC, the chicken industry and the pork industry made us look like Sunday school kids. And um, I think we're catching them. And I think a lot of this credit goes there. Um, where we are in the next few years, uh, I think agriculture is vital to, not just to Australia, we are to the rest of the world. We've got to help feed the world. Um, we talk about the droughts. Um, yes, when I go back to where I started, minding sheep and stock roots from a little kid to picking up the dead wool, droughts are a challenge. And um, I like challenges. And um, that's one thing I think the industry's got to do is manage the droughts better. Um, and there's some work to do that where you conservationally, we can lock the sheep up, feed them in, um, through those times, keep our breeding herds together. And we owe that not just to the farmer himself, that's to the processing industry, the town, um, there's so many people links off the sheep industry um, from the shearers right through to the um, chemical companies and all the sorts that come into it. And, um, and one of the great things is, is, is the transport industry, that where we've come in the last 30 years with transport, um, to think this year is the 50th year of um, container shipping, the first container ship coming into Australia. We couldn't go and export to 90 different countries if we didn't have containers. I think it's been a great achievement and it's made Australia, we're, we're anywhere in the world now as close as any other country. And um, 
but we got to take it forward. Um, I, I think a lot of things where the CRC's done great things in um, worm identification and lice and management on the farms. And our farms have changed. Um, you know, people are more up with doing it, and I think um, definitely the CRC's taken away from where my parents were um, um, just on the land and had to work it out for themselves. Now you can look it up, and even though I can't handle computers, um, all the information's there, and I think the farmer's got to make use of it. Um, the, um, the other part we've got to challenge is um, conserving our farms. We can't um, let them run down, and this is where in the droughts we've got to do some work. We've got all the machinery to um, produce feed and not have to truck it all over the country. When the drought breaks, that's when the challenge should start. And um, I think um, with the CRC finishing, I don't think it's ever going to be finished. Pick up the things that's happened and um, use them. And wherever we can, we've uh, done that on meat quality. Um, we've worked with um, the CRC and everyone in it. I think um, it's a great challenge, but meat quality, eating quality is from conception Farming, transport, processing, um, electric stimulation, chillers, ageing, restaurants. And it's all the way through, and I still say we've got a lot of work to do on that. But um, when you look at it, I started in the industry and um, the lamb was just a commodity and um, lambs were sold as sides of lambs in butcher shops or in supermarkets and it was the cheapest food there was. Today, everyone's grizzling, we're the dearest. What an achievement. And, and the achievement is because the world wants our product, we're, we're producing um, more tonnes of lamb than we ever did, um, but we're spreading it across the world. And I can say to the farmers, one of the great achievements of that is we don't get an absolute crash in the market. We're in, we were buying plain sheep at Dubbo in the last couple of weeks to put away for um, later, and you can buy cattle at the same price. No one would ever thought we'd say that. I think that's a great achievement. And we can take those stock forward and do things. Um, the wool industry, I think, um, went through what it did. Um, tragically, um, my ancestors were some of the faults of that. But it's a tra transformation industry. It's moved from Europe to, to Asia, to China, where they built major woolen mills and we were in the wool industry. Um, we've learned a lot from them and um, China and Asia is going to be very important to us, but the whole world is taking our sheep meat. And to think, um, we were looking at ourselves here just recently, that a lamb can walk into our lairage and we can place it into 60 different customers around the world. So that takes us away from when I first started, when we used to throw sheepskins up and dry them out in the sheds. The lambs were bagged or mutton was bagged and sent off to um, on reefer ships to um, Egypt, Russia or, or um, Taiwan or Japan. And um, today we can go scatter it right around the world and give the customer what they want. But um, I'd just like to say thanks for all the team of the CRC. Um, take credit for what you've done and I think you'll be proud to see that some of the advantages coming through over the years. And a lot of times that does happen. I mean, I, I'd just probably like to finish on a, a mistake MLA or AMLC made many years ago and they um, set up the Trim Lamb Project and um, it was a failure before it was start because the butchers didn't want to change and it failed. And as the years went by, best thing ever happened. We now got a trim lamb, it's a high class product. So out of the ashes come some great winds. And I think um, just be wary, there's a lot of good winds to come on what you've done. And I, th I thank everyone.